dearly beloved. The scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, and penitent heart to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times only to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together, to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no one in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And grant your most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of God in the name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent, and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may place him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips. And thou wilt show show thy face. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make peace to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
first lesson is written in the first book of Sam, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse. Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so angry, so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bear the on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry are fat with spoil. The baron has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to show and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low. He also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the knee from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit the seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on him he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might does one prevail. The Lord his adversaries shall be shattered. The Most High will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. Here endeth the lesson.
Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear us a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Here endeth the lesson.
and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. become the kingdom of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Bestow thy blessing, we beseech thee, upon all who labor for peace and righteousness among the peoples, especially in the Central Republican, African Republic, in Libya, in Somalia, in Syria, in Yemen, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, Congo, Mexico, and in the Ukraine at this time. That the day may be hastened when war shall be no more, and thy will only shall govern the nations upon earth through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
before we leave this place. Let us pray for all who are in any ways afflicted or distressed. in mind, in body, <coughs> or estate. That it may please God to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings, and a happy issue of all their afflictions, and this we beg for Jesus Christ, his sake. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. And the divine assistance remain with us always. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore.